Nearly two years of investigation into possible Russian interference in the 2016 election detailed in a report. Of course, we're talking about the Mueller report, the special counsel's investigation into President Donald Trump and his administration. That report is now out. The attorney general releasing a summary of that report but it is not a case closed for some. We want to bring in Shane Harris, intelligence correspondent for the Washington Post tonight to talk more about this. Let's first start off with that summary from the AG. What did that detail? Well, it basically broke down into two main components. The first was that the AG summarized what the Mueller report says about allegations that President Trump or members of his campaign conspired with Russians in their attack on the 2016 election. And it doesn't tell us a lot about the activity, but it says ultimately that the special counsel did not find uh, any evidence to support bringing a charge. And the second category was on this question of whether or not the president obstructed justice by interfering in the probe itself. And here it's very confusing and quite unusual. Barr, the attorney general, reports that Mueller declined to reach a legal conclusion on that question and didn't really weigh one way or the other, but he did look at a number of instances in which it could be that the president obstructed justice. And we don't know exactly what Mueller was trying to do there. Was he trying to uh, say, it's not for me to decide, it's actually a matter before Congress because you can't legally indict a sitting president, some people think? Uh, or was he sort of kicking this over to the attorney general? Because what we do know is that in the absence of Mueller reaching a conclusion, the attorney general stepped in himself and went ahead and made one and said, I don't see evidence to bring a charge here. So the, the answer to this next question, uh, it's been floated out there, depends on who you ask, what side of the aisle people tend to lean towards. Is this an exoneration of President Trump? I think it's not. And actually, Attorney General Barr quotes the Mueller report and presumably Robert Mueller's own words directly in the memo when he says, that we do not exonerate the president. So on the obstruction question, no, it doesn't. On the collusion piece, I think arguably it does, insofar as it's saying, is as a criminal matter, we don't find any evidence to charge either the president or anyone around him with conspiracy. There might be a lot of activity, much of what we've already known from reporting, that raises questions about political judgment and ethical questions, but it doesn't rise to the level of a crime, Mueller says. So we have seen the summary that the attorney general has released, but Democrats are asking for the full report. What are they hoping for? I think what they want to see is basically as much as they can to get at what was the underlying activity uh, and actions by the president and those around him that special counsel Mueller actually examined. And what is some of the legal analysis they apply? We sort of know where they end up. What we don't know is how they got there. What does that journey look like that the special counsel and his team took? So there's going to be quite a fight and a push from Democrats and I think some Republicans as well for the Justice Department to be transparent and release as much of this publicly as they can. If that full report is <clears throat> released, what happens next? Well, if it's released, you can certainly imagine hearings uh, in Congress. You could imagine more reporting if there's new details in there that we didn't know about before. And then there's a really difficult question here that it's largely in the hands of House Democrats, particularly on the obstruction piece where there's not a clear answer as to what happened here. They will have to consider whether the evidence that was marshaled by the special counsel maybe is ripe for an impeachment proceeding. That's going to be a very delicate and difficult political judgment for them to make, but they can't really do it until they see what the special counsel found and what his analysis was. Always more to watch for in Washington. Shane Harris with The Washington Post. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.